week is National Women in Construction Week. Our Sarah Grimmer reports on the opportunities in the growing field. All right, so you've been working in construction for 32 years. Of those hundreds of people you've worked with, how many of those people have been women? Mm -hmm. Ten. <laughs> not very many. He's not wrong. In fact, this construction worker hit the nail on the head. Women make up less than 10% of the construction labor force. Here's two women that add to that statistic. My name is Teresa Riley. Tanya Wiseman. I work for Triangle Associates. I'm a project administrator there. I'm a drywall finisher. Been in the construction industry for going on 13 years now. Both Teresa and Tanya fell into the construction line of work. Well, when I started, my husband and them did it. And they needed more workers, so I volunteered, and here I am. I did not go to school for construction. I actually have a medical background. So, <laughs> so it's a big change from what I went to school for versus what I am doing. But I started at a low-level um, office position and um, moved up into the project administrator position. These women worked their way to where they are now. And today, during National Woman in Construction, or WIC Week, they're inviting other women to join them. It's just like any other industry. Um, anything a man can do, a woman can do too, as long as she puts her mind to it and, and goes out there and tries. I was nervous coming into it because I know it's a guy's trade, but us women can do it too. Opportunities for getting into construction include trade schools and apprenticeships, many of which only take eight weeks to complete. Well, you can get into construction, you know, pretty much anyway. You know somebody that does it and say, hey, you know, I'm interested in becoming a painter. How do I do that? Um, I'm interested in becoming an electrician. How do I do that? According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the construction industry is expected to see a 12 percent growth just between 2016 and 2026. The need for hard female workers is there. Will you pick up the joint knife? Do you think were those women good workers? Should there be more, oh, more women? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep, finishers especially, they seem to have a better eye. That's what we're trying to get across to everyone and let them know. You know, women can do construction. If you're really interested in doing something, um, you just got to get out there and, and ask the questions. Reporting in Grand Rapids, I'm Sarah Grimmer for Fox 17 News. All right, good to see that. Mm -hmm. Well, the National Association of Women in Construction offers scholarships for women entering the field every year. We do have a link with more information on our website and mobile news.